So you have your you have your podcast exported either as MP3 or AAC, and now you want to host it somewhere. Well, one way you can do this is putting it onto a Google site. Now, Google site, this isn't a quick way to do this, but there is a somewhat simple way to put a podcast onto a Google site. And there's actually two ways I'm going to show you right now. The first way is we're going to put an embed gadget onto our site. So here I am on my Google site. I need to go and upload the file first. So I go up to the gear and I go down to manage site. I'm then going to, after it loads, go over here to attachments. And I'm going to upload my podcast. And I'm going to use the AAC encoded one, the M4A, because this is possible with the gadget I found. Now, MP3s might be easier, but M4As will work with this too. And plus, I get my nice little artwork there. Now, the thing is, though, you see the size of this. I only did a very short one. It's not even a full megabyte. Uh, the size limit may be 10 megabytes for this, so you have to go and trial and error, tr test it out. So if it doesn't work this way, try another way. But once I have my file uploaded, I go to the download link. I do not click it, but I right click. And I'm going to copy the link address. I need that address for what we're going to do next. So then I go back to my site. And I need to go back to that page where I'm going to place it. and place this on my GarageBand site. And now I'm going to edit the page. I'm going to go where I want to insert my podcast. And then I'm going to go up to insert more gadgets now the gadget I'm looking for I got to click public first and the gadget I'm looking for is called embed music hopefully it's the first one that will pop up when I look for this and of course it's not so here it is and there's no one here so the nice thing about this is that it does not use flash we do not want anything that uses flash so I'm going to click it now there are other ones that may work this is just the one I found and it looked pretty slick so I'm going to use it so I just hit select now here's where we're going to paste that link that we just copied from the attachment. So I go in there and I paste it, but I also need to delete a little bit. You'll see there's a little bit of extra stuff here. I'm just going to delete a little bit. I need to delete including that question mark. So the last thing that I see is either the M4A or MP3. Background color, if there's a certain background color you can put in here, you can look up the different codes for different colors. I can set it to auto start or not. I'm going to say no. I don't like things that auto start. Hidden, I don't know why you make that. And loop, no, I'm going to let somebody be able to listen to it once. Now, the width, 300 pixels, that's pretty good for what I have. And then remember, that's the size of the maximum size of the picture in the AAC one. Now, the height, I need to change this. So we're going to go up to 200 pixels. Uh, and then I'm going to click OK. And then once I'm done, I hit save. Now, if I get to this loads correctly, I will be able to see my embed music here. Now, the first time you do this, you may see a pop-up saying run QuickTime on the site. And yes, run QuickTime on the site. And now somebody can come to my site and just click play. Recording audio for chapter. And they can listen to my podcast and they can actually see the pictures here. And so that's a very nice thing to be able to do. So that's one way we can easily embed a podcast onto a Google site. The other way, you see I have a lot of YouTube videos here. One thing you can easily do is just go to YouTube and go to the upload. Click upload and just upload it. Upload your podcast to YouTube. Now, YouTube typically has a 10-minute limit, but... That could be one place you can put it. Another way, if none of these ways work, a good workaround is to just upload to your Google Drive, link it here, and people then can go that link to your Google Drive to get to the podcast. That's kind of a last resort sort of thing. But this is a way you can embed a podcast onto a Google site.